Later this evening, Virginia is set to execute a woman in a case that raises fundamental questions about who gets the death penalty and who does not. Teresa Lewis admits she's guilty. So why are so many respected people saying this execution is wrong? Jim Shuto is outside the prison in Jarrett, Virginia. Teresa Lewis has confessed to a cold and calculating crime, asking her lover and a friend to kill her husband and stepson to collect a $250,000 life insurance policy. In a jailhouse interview with CNN, she pled for forgiveness. I just wish I could take it back, and I'm sorry for all the people that I've hurt. But complicating the case, Lewis did not pull the trigger. The men who did only got life in prison. And crucially, court-appointed doctors found she only has an IQ of 72, just two points above the legal minimum for execution in Virginia. A Duke University psychologist who examined her for the defense concluded, Teresa's functional mental age is in the range of 12 to 14 years. Rallying to her cause are novelist John Grisham, Justices Sonia Sotomayor and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who voted to stay her execution, and thousands on the web. For the victim's daughter, all the focus on Lewis is just one more crime against her family. She could have walked away from my father and never looked back. And I think people need to remember her victims and not her. In an internet video by her supporters, Lewis sings for a final miracle. I need a but with her appeals exhausted, her fight will end here, inside this death chamber. Lewis spent her final day with her family and her minister. They've left now, and the victims' families have arrived. And Diane, they'll be among the witnesses to her execution.